Hi there, this is Josh from Literary Gladiators, and today I'm here with a library book sale book haul. Uh, a few weeks ago, I, my mother asked me to uh, take a trip to the library, uh, see if there was a certain book, and uh, when I pulled up, I saw that they were holding a book sale for the friends of the library, so I jumped right on it, and they had quite an amazing selection. I ended up uh, buying 14 books and only paying $5.20, which is quite amazing. The, uh, I'm going to be showing you the 12 books that I bought for myself because I got uh, a book, for one for my mother, one for my father. And uh, the ones that I got for myself are quite amazing additions to my book collection, I would say. Let's begin with the paperbacks. Uh, the first one I got is Somewhere in Time by Richard Matheson. I am a huge enthusiast for what Richard Matheson has written. Uh, the Shrinking Man and I Am Legend were both uh, spectacular. His shorter works, uh, like Button Button, were also amazing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Charlie's filmed a discussion video about Button Button, which will be released soon. But in Somewhere in Time, uh, this man has a, a fascination and an admiration for a female actress who uh, was acting in the late 19th century uh, and his passion. He has such a great passion that he's transported to that time and given the opportunity to woo her and uh, engage in a uh, romantic relationship. This is going to be something to check out. Uh, I know Matheson is a speculative fiction writer, but I saw him more in the horror and science fiction realm as opposed to uh, fantasy, but this will be something to uh, read. Next thing I got was Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. I picked up a copy of Gone Girl at Columbus uh, Flea Market, but uh, I was going to wait and read, uh, read that, see what I thought, but uh, Sharp Objects was there at a pretty cheap price, so I decided to uh, pick this up. Uh, and this particular novel has to do with a journalist who was recently released from uh, psychiatric care who is now uh, assigned to do a, a report uh, having to do with the uh, murder of uh, two uh, preteen girls, which she, uh, it begins, it becomes uh, a personal case for her because she sees connections to herself and their lives and it makes for something really intense. Next thing I picked up is The Alchemist by Paulo Colo, and it has to do with uh, a man named uh, Santiago and his journey and the people that he comes across and the things that he learns, which this should definitely be one of those uh, enlightening experiences, and I'll have to see uh, what it's all about. Next thing I got was uh, in Immortality by Milan Kundera, which I have a copy of The Unbearable Lightness of Being, and I saw this and it, it, it interested me. Uh, it has to do with a woman's, uh, how a woman falls for her swimming instructor, and the little that I glanced over on the first page, uh, the woman's in her 60s, and I would imagine that the man is a little bit younger. So it's a really interesting uh, relationship, and if it, I'm really eager to see how well it's written, because it's promoting itself the way that uh, Flaubert and uh, Nabokov uh, uh, romanticized uh, their relationships in... Uh, Madame uh, Bovary and uh, Lolita, respectively. And with regard to the latter, though, I'm 
not sure the age gap is not that far apart as far as I know. Next thing I got were two uh, Yasunari Kawabata uh, novels that they had there. Uh, the Scarlet Gang of Azakuza and the Master of God. The Scarlet Gang of Azakuza has to do with the uh, particular has to do with a particular area and era uh, pre-World War II. So this is before the uh, uh, treacherous uh, occurrences took place. But it's really uh, it's really interesting uh, to see the uh, time and place that uh, this is going to be describing. Master of Go is something that really caught my attention. I think if there's any Kawabata work that I have had that I had my eye on, it was this one. Uh, Go is a game that's very similar to our Othello, where the object is to surround the other person's uh, checkers, or tiles, or... I think they look more like checkers, so... It, it, or discs. I think discs is a better way to put it. But it has to do with an intense battle between a veteran master and a rising challenger who is who is younger and he's a more modern challenger and it just uh, tests the uh, grounds between the uh, the veteran against the less experienced, but at the same time, it's the talent and the ability to win the game that takes priority in something of this nature. The next thing that I got is something that is really uh, appealing. I would say that this is uh, a uh, eye-catching work of uh, Middle Eastern uh, feminism. And that is uh, Reading Lolita in Tehran, uh, which is a memoir by Azar Nafisi, who is, uh, she was a teacher who, she, she taught high school students and would uh, take seven of her most uh, gifted female students and teach them uh, Western literature that was forbidden in the area, and uh, they would read and discuss the work, which really brought up some uh, eye-opening uh, thoughts and uh, contributions to uh, the discussion at hand, and this is something that I think can appeal to anyone in any way. And I'm really excited to check this out, especially uh, since I am uh, an English major and enthusiast for literature that I am. Uh, I really want to check this out. The next books are the hardcovers that I got at the library book sale. And uh, the first two have to do with the uh, Kennedys. One is... Uh, Brothers, The Hidden History of the Kennedy Years by David Talbot, and The Dark Side of Camelot by Seymour M. Hirsch. Brothers concentrates on the relationship between uh, John and Robert uh, Kennedy and how they were frequently uh, on the, uh, they were frequently on the bubble when it came to intense moments because they were uh, mavericks, I would say, uh, and how uh, John confided in his brother, and when uh, John F. Kennedy was assassinated, uh, it heavily affected uh, his brother Robert, and 
it explores that end as well, which is something I really want to read more into. The dark side of Camelot concentrates more on Kennedy's recklessness and how Kennedy was, the, the Kennedy family was really well to do and when he became president, uh, JFK really took advantage of uh, everything that uh, he had to offer based off of his uh, family's wealth and uh, privilege. And he really played with fire, which... And by playing with fire so much, uh, he really rattled the tree of the government, the FBI, the CIA, the Mafia, uh, different uh, Cuba, Russia, just so many, so many groups of people that you begin to stop and think about uh, the con of what really made up the assassination and what became the uh, Warren Report. And the term Camelot is uh, frequently used to describe uh, the uh, Kennedy administration. Uh, there, there are great comparisons to uh, King Arthur's uh, reign and how high and mighty it uh, came off, but it crashed and burned just as greatly as it uh, rose. Next thing I picked up was Caribbean by James A. Mishner. I have a grand collection of his novels, and this covers the, uh, the historical uh, moments of uh, everything having to do with the Caribbean, and he uses uh, fictional characters and accounts in order to uh, keep the story going. He's pretty amazing with how he does that. Next thing I got was A Big Little Life, A Memoir of a Joyful Dog by Dean Kuntz. And this has to do with the connection that Dean Kuntz had with his golden retriever, Trixie, and how she moved him so much that she continued, her enduring spirit continues to remain a great presence in his life. And he credits Trixie for uh, changing him on all accounts. And I'm really interested to hear what he has to say. And here's a, a greater, a, here's a more clearer, uh, profile of her. And the last thing I got, and I got it right on my way out, is The Polish Woman by Ava Meckler. And this has to do with a uh, woman, a Polish woman coming to America. She claims that she was a Holocaust survivor who lost her family. But the lawyer that uh, she's uh, engaging in, in uh, interaction with, or that she's interacting with, uh, doesn't believe her. And this has to do with this whole uh, idea that she uh, is proving her way through to uh, what she wants. But whether or not her story is true or uh, not is something I will have to read. I'll leave the translators down below because they hold a great importance as well when it comes to the particular uh, foreign works that are not written in the original language, uh, which in my case is English. Here is everything. All of the books. If you're interested in checking out more of what we have to offer, subscribe to our channel. And if you're also interested, uh, please uh, like and comment. We would be happy to uh, keep the discussion going. Thank you for tuning in, and for now, 
Keep reading.